everyone i'm rahul and in this video i'm going to uh, explain you how to uh, draw a schematic and uh, simulate it on the tool pixels so pixels is of mentor graphics so uh, for that uh, we have some commands uh, i'm going to tell you that so first uh, we will type csh then source space mentor dot csrc after that uh, i will type apk underscore uh, DAIC okay so this will take you to a window called pixels schematic so in this window we are going to make a new schematic so for that uh, we are choosing for one. drawing this schematic uh, I'll use this button on the left top you can see new schematic so uh, for that uh, I will create one directory a new directory so I'm giving it name txt1 okay so that I will use this name inverter mvrtp1 so this uh, uh, black window will come so on that we will draw the schematic so for the basic inverter schematic as you already know it is something like this you have one and mox okay so this is a symbol for n mox and uh, you have in the top of that one p mox so this is a symbol for p mox so if uh, this is ground so it becomes source for n mox and if uh, this is bbb power supply so it becomes source for uh, pmos so for the inverter both the gate are shorted and input is provided from the gate okay and output is taken from the common drain both the drain are connected and output is taken from here okay so this is one symbol uh, many people use this different symbol uh, like uh, one more symbol is uh, the uh, this MOS is a four terminal device so I'm showing all four here now uh, this is fourth one called body so if uh, for PMOS this arrow is outside okay so for NMOS this arrow is inside so these are various symbols so for drawing the uh, schematic you can you can see on the right hand side of the window so there are two like uh, ADK IC library simulation and all. So I'll click on this ADK IC library. So it has a PMOS and MOS registers, in out VDD ground AC DC. So uh, we have many things here. So we can use these things to draw this schematic. Okay. So for that uh, I'll first use and MOS and drag it here. Okay. PMOS okay so this is the one so uh, now I will choose ground and the VDD okay so by clicking this view all I can see the whole picture here okay so now I will connect so for connecting these uh, terminals so uh, we can either use this uh, add wire or we can directly press W okay so by pressing W we can uh, connect this uh, for the starting terminal we'll press it once and at the end terminal we'll press it twice okay once and twice okay once for input okay so uh, twice okay fine <laughs> okay so now we will connect these bodies also so for pmos we'll connect it to uh, the source of this which is connected to vdd okay and for nmos we are connecting it to the source of nmos it is best thing to connect it with the source but for with nmos it is it 
is not possible all the time so uh, okay so uh, for input uh, i will use pin in here okay for out another thing So for changing these names, I click on this, press Q. So this will provide me its property. So I can change the net name from uh, net to, I'm changing it to in. All right, same here also, I'll change it to out. Fine, so our schematic is ready. So this is same. Now I will size this NMOS and PMOS. So since I'm using 180 nanometer technology, so I'll click on this and again press Q to get for getting its property. So here you can see there are various things, but I'm interested in W and L ratio. So this is length. So I'll change it first. I'll, uh, so uh, I'll change it to 180 nanometer, but the unit for this is micrometer so I'll adjust the units and uh, will input 0.18 micrometer that is equivalent to 180 nanometer okay and uh, this one is W width so for width I'm providing it 0 0.36 360 nanometer fine okay for uh, PMOS the L is same Keeping it 0.18 length 0.18 okay and W uh, actually I want to make my PMOS double in size of NMOS so I'll make it 0.72 because for NMOS it was 0.36 okay so now we are ready for simulation so I'll click on this button simulation so the new window will come up and uh, here there are new options so i'll use this one setup simulation so in that first of all i'll include my model file so i'll browse it from here okay uh, generally it comes like this from here it will be okay so generally it comes like this so what will we do we press dollar a d k and enter after that technology then ic then model so this is the path so i'm using psmc 180 nanometer fine so uh, i can apply this okay so here i want to uh, i have to i have to provide the value of these like vdd and input so I'll use this force. So first I'll provide this VDD as 1.8 volt because 1.8 volt is for 180 nanometer technology. So I'll click here selection from schematic. Minimize this. I'll select this and then and then we'll provide it to DC source. Okay, so I'm I'm forcing it to DC source. It's 1.8. Volt. So after that, I'll add it here. Okay, so you can see it here. Then apply. Okay. And uh, what about input? So input, uh, since I want to plot VTC curve, so input I want to freeze. Anyway, now I'm providing input as a DC source. So I'll click here. Input. In, in is here now so input is also DC source so I am giving it a random value for one volt as a reference value and add ok so I will apply all the things afterwards I am not applying now so output so I select from the schematic so I will click here and again select it Now 
out is here. So analysis, I'm selecting say DC analysis. Okay, or I can select all. It includes everything. Task, I want to plot this. Okay, now add. So I'll put it here. Okay, apply. So it's ready. So uh, for VTC, uh, what I want is. So this is the axis in here, it is V out and this one is V in. So at low input output should be high and it suddenly changes and for uh, high input output is low. So this is what inverter does. So we are going, we are interested to plot this. So what I'll do. Here I'll I'll sweep this input voltage from 0 to 1.8 and we'll see this output. Okay. So for that I'll do one thing. I'll again open this uh, setup simulation. So in that I'll go to analysis. This is DC analysis. So in sweep type I'll select source force because I am using the force thing. Okay, so if I click on this, I can select which I want to sweep. So I want to sweep input. So I'm selecting this. Okay, start from 0 to 1.8 volt and step is 0 0.01. Okay, apply. Okay, fine. Now we are ready for the simulation. Close this. This is the run simulation simulator. Click on this. So at this bottom window, you can see if there is any error. So this is clean. There's no okay, error. But uh, before this simulation and before this plot, uh, we should uh, save the schematic. So we forget that. So first we'll save this schematic. So I'm doing this end simulation. We'll come here. We'll save it. And also I can see the save and check. It will show me if there is any error or so no error okay so i'll close this again simulation i'll run this again okay to uh, see this plot i'll click on this so show simulator measurement results and then after the plot so it will uh, show one window okay so on that let me run plot this is dc so I want to see the output because input we are sweeping with respect to output. So this is the one. This is the VTC curve for this. Okay. So you can do various analysis. So we can analyze this result. Okay. So we also have some other analysis to be done. So for other analysis, we'll click on this uh, setup simulation. And uh, we can perform these various analysis. So now I'm going to perform transient analysis. So for that, I'll click on this. Okay, so for uh, transient analysis, uh, we, the x-axis is time axis. So we plot any output with respect to time. So we can see the variation of any pulse. Okay, so uh, for that, I need to change the inputs, which earlier I have posed, I have posed input as a DC source. Now I'll make it a pulse. Okay, so this is pulse. So uh, the pulse is something like this. Okay, so the pulse is something like this. So uh, initial value, this will be the initial value, and this is the pulsed value. So this one is delay and rise time. The rise time is generally uh, the ten ten percent to ninety percent of this. Is rise time okay and this is fall time uh, this is uh, pulse width and this whole is period okay so we'll set it accordingly initially 0 then pulse width is 1.8 delay is 1 micro and rise time I'm taking 2 nano fall time I guess I can take it 5 nano and 
all time high. Okay, fifty years old building this is not it. So fifty years you can add it. So now I have to update this. So now input has been updated to pulse. Okay, apply. And this analysis uh, section start zero stop four micro. Okay, fine. Now we'll again simulate this. See the result. Simulation done. So there is no error you can see at the bottom window. Okay, so the plot. Uh, we also V. Okay, so I will zoom this. So for every high output is low. For every low input, output is high. So the output is correct. Okay. So like this, you can perform various analysis. You can try it. So this is this is the basic video that you have watched.